I'm Benny Thompson, chairman of the January 6, 2021 committee. I was born, raised, and still live in Bolton, Mississippi, a town with a population of 521, which is midway between Jackson and Vicksburg, Mississippi, and the Mississippi River. I'm from a part of the country where people justify the actions of slavery, the Ku Klux Klan, and lynching. I'm reminded of that dark history as I hear voices today try and justify the actions of the insurrectionists on January 6, 2021. Donald Trump lost the presidential election in 2020. The American people voted him out of office. It was not because of a rigged system. It was not because of voter fraud. Don't believe me? Hear what his former attorney general had to say about it. And I've been through sort of the give and take of those discussions. And in that context, I made it clear I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was bullshit. You will hear that President Trump was yelling and, quote, really angry at advisors who told him he needed to be doing something more. And aware of the rioters' chance to hang Mike Pence, the president responded with this sentiment, quote, Maybe our supporters have the right idea. Mike Pence, quote, deserves it. I remember a call with uh, Mr. Meadows, where Mr. Meadows was asking me what I was finding and if I was finding anything. And I remember sharing with him that we weren't finding anything that would be sufficient to um, change the results in any of the key states. And what was Mr. Meadows' reaction to that information? I believe the words he used were, so there's no there there. This is the president's daughter commenting on Bill Barr's statement that the department found no fraud sufficient to overturn the election. It affected my perspective. Um, I respect Attorney General Barr. Um, so I accepted what he said, was saying. As you will hear on Monday, the president had every right to litigate his campaign claims, but he ultimately lost more than 60 cases in state and federal courts. Tonight, I say this to my Republican colleagues who are defending the indefensible. There will come a day when Donald Trump is gone, but your dishonor will remain. Without objection, I include in the record a video presentation of the violence of January 6th. They were peaceful people. These were great people. The crowd was unbelievable. And I mentioned the word love. The love, the love in the air. I've never seen anything like it. I, what I saw was just a, a war scene. It, it was something like I had seen out of the movies. I, I, I couldn't believe my eyes. There were officers on the ground, um, you know, they were bleeding, they were throwing up, they were, you know, they had, I, I mean, I saw friends with blood all over their faces. I was slipping in people's blood. Um, you know, I, I was, catching people as they fell, I, you know, I was, it was carnage, it was chaos. This next week, we're going to examine the lies that convinced those men and others to storm the Capitol, to try to stop the transfer of power. We're going to take a close look at the first part of Trump's attack 